My name is Coach Martin Gooden and today I'm doing this quick video and I've called it Confession of a Realist Exercise Resolutionist You know, somebody who makes New Year's resolutions You see what it is, we're into actually the first week of the New Year at the minute, 2016 and I know that there's somebody out there watching this video who's actually joined a health club at the minute, I've been eating exceptionally well up to this point, okay? Um, I've probably given up smoking and not smoked, okay? I've actually also given up alcohol, okay? Said they're going to give up alcohol, I've not really had a drink of alcohol, right? So, that is it. But the big test is this, guys. At the minute, we're going to have a weekend coming, which is obviously your Friday. And as we normally know, this is probably the normal time where we tend to eat certain foods, okay, which we can say forbidden, but we won't say forbidden. We'll say foods what you normally used to eat, but you stop eating at the moment, okay. You probably normally would smoke more at the weekend than you do during the week, okay. You also probably were not accustomed to exercise, okay, so the fact that you did not exercise okay was just a normality so the big test is this weekend okay you see you may have that sneaky bit of alcohol over the weekend you may have that sneaky cigarette over the weekend okay you may feel guilty because so far you've been exercising consistently or nearly every night because it's a new novelty okay but when the weekend is over that is the that is the time when you're going to really realize if you really are on this New Year's resolution. And I'm not talking about the first week, second week. We're talking about at least the fourth week, okay? If you're maintaining what you're actually doing in the first week, i.e. going to the gym more consistently than you ever have done, okay? If you're actually eating clean, if you've given up the cigarettes, what you said you were gonna give up, and you're not actually drinking the alcohol, what you said you, you know, are gonna continue not the habit what you're going to continue in not drinking alcohol it's not in the first week, it's not in the second week, it's not in the third week it's in the fourth week if you're still maintaining these habits then it's normally the case that you have created a new lifestyle habit which you can keep on consistently creating because as I said before guys New Year's resolutions do not work okay and if you're going to give up cigarette smoking and alcohol altogether guys it's not something what I would advise. What I would advise you is to break it down slowly. Slowly break it down. Slowly reduce the amount of cigarettes what you're smoking. Slowly reduce the amount of alcohol what you're actually drinking. Okay? And don't go like a Red Bull to a China shop or to a China Red Bull to a um, Bull in when you're looking at exercising. Take your time and do it slowly. Alright? So I'm being real here guys. If you've kept it up so far, that's amazing. But let me tell you, more than likely, doom is going to come. Something is going to bust your bubble, okay? Which will make you probably go back into the old habit, what you was doing before. Sorry for being real, okay? But, you know, I'm just going to tell the truth. I've been there myself. I've had clients what I've been there. So I normally know what January, New Year's resolutions actually mean, okay? Thank you for watching the video. I wish you all the very best of luck when this weekend comes and you're able to go back to Monday and still know that yes, I've made a blip. However, I am going to get myself back on track or I'm going to reduce the amount of alcohol what I'm drinking. I'm going to reduce the amount of cigarettes what I'm actually smoking in a day, okay? I'm actually going to go to the gym more consistently Okay, but I'm also going to keep it real as to how many times a week I'm going to go to the gym rather than making so much effort into going to the gym that I'm going to feel guilty when I don't go to the gym or I miss one day out. Alright? So thanks for watching the video, guys. I wish you all success, okay, in your pursuit of health, fitness and happiness.